guys, it's Space Gamer for the one year, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to show you guys how you can get to North Yankton. And before this video starts, I am going to tell you that this is only for PS4, possibly Xbox One, but for now, I believe it's only PS4. And you can only do this in single player. And. That, that's about it. So I'm going to tell you one requirement that you that you do need to do this glitch. There's another requirement for this glitch if you want to have it in a completely free roam story mode session. So the first requirement is that you must have the beta version of GTA 5. Which means you have to delete your GTA 5 from your console. And then re-download it and do not update the game. So play it on the beta version, on the first version of next gen. Otherwise the glitch will simply not work as it is patched on the current version of the game. Next requirement, if you want to have it in a free roam single player session is you must have the mission as if you're about to play it for the first time. In that case that would be me. I've got that mission available. If you want it to just be in that single mission session then just go to replay mission. So. After all those requirements are out of the way, you're ready to be in the glitch. So, step one, you can you can replay the mission, bury the hatchet, or you can start the mission from your story if you chose to do it that way. That's my car, you prick! After this, you, you just want to run outside. You can you can call in a helicopter using the cheat code. I'll display that on screen, or you can call a taxi. Hello. Of course. So, you can call yourself a buzzard, I'll display that on screen though, like I said. Or just call downtown cab company and get to the airport. Shit. Or you can drive there if you're patient. Don't worry, if this takes too long I'll speed this up. Okay, once you guys are at the airport, do not go into the checkpoint yet. First of all, this this is like something like you might have seen from a diff old glitch video, like what? you know it got Your patched in that. But be careful with I'm this. So sorry, it's not like so the glitch sorry. back in the day before it got patched what? on the first version of GTA 5. Do not go to recent activities and start up GTA Online from recent activities for this glitch because if you do that it will kick you out of the mission and put you back into story mode because it will give you an error screen saying there's an update required and I just got cops on me so you'll get an error saying there's an update required to play the game if you do that so make sure you follow what I do so first you want to walk into this this checkpoint and skip it as soon as possible so when you skip it, as soon as the screen goes black, you go to your PlayStation menu. And once you do that, go to one of your friends that are playing GTA 5 online and press join session. And then you'll get put on this screen I'm about to show you. So if you've done the glitch right, you'll get an error screen saying there is an update required to access GTA online. And you will get spawned in at the airport. And if you, I will show you at the end of the video what happens when you go to recent activities. I'll be, I will show you what happens. So once you're at the airport, if you played the mission like you're playing it for the first time, like me. If you're playing the mission like you played it for the first time, like me, then you can proceed to kill yourself. But if you chose to do it by replaying the mission, then do not kill yourself, just go explore North Yankton, which is over that way, just spawn yourself in a chopper. But since I've done it like I played it for the first time, I am going to kill myself. So if you're doing it like me, just kill yourself and quit the mission. And you will respawn at the hospital. If you do it through replay mission, it will load 
it will put you on a loading screen, it will load you back into story mode where you replayed it from and North Yankton will not be there. I don't like nobody playing on my phone. So once you respawn at the hospital you're pretty much free to explore North Yankton. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I am gonna sh show you some gameplay of me at, at North Yankton. Once I show you some gameplay, I am going to show you what happens when you go to recent activities. So for now, I hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you guys later. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that video, but just before I go, I'm going to show you now what happens when you go to recent activities. So, recent activities, it can be anything that says start GTA Online or, or start minigame and all that. So for me, it's going to be one that says start GTA Online. And once you accept it, this will happen. It will say the game requires an update to access Grand Theft Auto Online. Return to Grand Theft Auto 5. It will put you into the clouds and it will respawn you at a random location. If you do if you do this, if you try to do this for the glitch, it will not work. Oh man, I feel like crap. The glitch just simply will not work. If you do this. If you're me who done who done the glitch and got it in a free roam session, if you do that in your free roam session it will not affect the uh, glitch whatsoever. North Yankton will still stay there. As I'm about to show you guys, I'm just gonna <coughs> speed it up here. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy it. This glitch, this whole glitch will never get patched as you're technically deleting the updates. So, <laughs> enjoy this forever, I guess. See you guys later.